Let's talk about minoxidil. Minoxidil, the most common drug which is used for hair fall and after hair transplant. What are the things that we know or we think we know about minoxidil and what are the other facts and myths about minoxidil? Now, minoxidil basically helps in increasing the anagen or the growth phase of the hair. It has also got anti-inflammatory properties. It stimulates the WTN pathway and it also reduces the inflammation. So it also increases the blood supply to the hair roots. So in these ways, it promotes the growth of the hair and it prevents hair fall. Minoxidil is the most popular therapy which is used for anti-hair fall. Now this particular therapy was discovered accidentally as an anti-hypertensive drug which was used in very very high doses orally and then people saw that hair grows after using this drug. So then they realized that using this drug in small doses or using this drug in topical formulations can actually help in increasing hair growth and reducing hair fall. So that is how minoxidil was discovered. It was used in 2%, 5% and now in 10% topical solutions. What is the ideal solution strength that should be used? 5% is the ideal solution strength. Now minoxidil basically is not in an active form. When it is applied topically on the scalp, it gets converted by an enzyme present in the scalp. This enzyme is called sulfonyl transferase and it gets converted into minoxidil sulfate. Minoxidil sulfate is the potent or the active form uh, which acts on the hair roots to promote hair growth. Now this particular enzyme may be deficient or may not be working as well in as many as 30 to 40 percent of the Indian population and hence that's why minoxidil may not be that effective in everybody number one number two you have to understand that if you take minoxidil orally then you bypass this enzyme because this enzyme is also present in platelets which is in the blood and also in the liver so minoxidil automatically gets converted to minoxidil sulfate in the bloodstream which is delivered to the hair follicles and hence in this active form will promote hair growth so oral minoxidil in low doses can be more effective than topical minoxidil. Then the third point about topical minoxidil, you must know that you need alcohol as a base in order to deliver the minoxidil. That can cause a little bit of irritation to the scalp. It may sometimes cause headache or heaviness around the eyes. It may actually make the hair frizzy. It may increase the breakage and it makes the hair sort of unmanageable. Also, when the alcohol evaporates, the crystals of minoxidil look like dandruff, white white flakes and hence people think that the dandruff has actually increased. So hence, these all these factors uh, don't give a very good cosmetic impression. Hence, topical minoxidil, though very, though actually still today the most common form of use of minoxidil and the most common therapy used for anti-hair fall, uh, it still has low compliance rate where pa patients tend to stop it because of all these factors. What can we do to improve the effect of minoxidil? Number one, use solutions which are not alcohol based. Uh, in this cases, maybe the effectiveness may reduce slightly, but at least the hair will not become unmanageable. Number two, if low concentration not effective, then increase the concentration of minoxidil. Number three, you can use a particular drug called Mino Boost or Minoxy Boost. What this does, it actually increases the activity of the sulfonyl transferase so that if you apply 10 to 15 minutes before applying minoxidil, in that case, the enzyme activity increases and then if you apply minoxidil, more minoxidil is converted to minoxidil sulfate and hence that will actually help to improve the efficacy or potency of the minoxidil. Number four, you can take it in the oral form. So that is also possible. So all these things can be done in order to improve the potency and efficacy of minoxidil. Also apply minoxidil with dry hands on the scalp. Don't just put it on the hair, hair roots or on the hair where it drips down. It has to be massaged gently on the scalp. It has to be massaged preferably in the night. 
it should be massaged two hours before you go to bed so that you don't it so it gets absorbed properly and it doesn't so it gets absorbed properly and it doesn't get absorbed by the pillows or it doesn't apply on the pillows so that is the correct way of using minoxidil typically 1 ml or 1.2 ml of minoxidil is used in a per session or per day now the half life of minoxidil is less so if you want to increase the effective of minoxidil you may use it twice a day also you may use the higher strength if you want to increase the effectiveness of minoxidil now we have formulations of minoxidil which are available with other drugs like topical finasteride like ridencil capixel o procapil abinexil with retinol and various other components like caffeine etc transcutol so all these work in different different ways in promoting hair growth so you may combine minoxidil with some of these components to increase the effectiveness and potency of these formulations